Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll learn about how to add infinite scroll to Shopify Dawn theme. And first to be able to get started for this, so we're gonna guide you through adding an infinite scroll to your collection page. So if you're tired of some static website and you wanna see a seamless scrolling experience for your visitors, then you're in the right place. So we're gonna show you how to do it step by step without any coding knowledge. So before we dive in, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button so you never miss out on our helpful tutorials. So let's jump right into it. And for the first thing that we could do to that, let's do first a quick overview onto what is Shopify all about. So this is actually an e-commerce platform that enables individuals and businesses to create and manage online stores easily. So it provides a user-friendly interface, allowing users to set up their digital storefronts without extensive technical knowledge. So with this platform, Shopify, users can customize the look and feel of their online stores, add and organize their products, and handle transactions securely. The platform also offers a range of features, including payment processing, order tracking, and inventory management, making it a comprehensive solution for those looking to sell products or services online. So Shopify already has gained popularity for its accessibility and scalability, catering to both services online. So for this one, it is actually used by small entrepreneurs and large enterprises seeking a reliable and efficient online selling platform. So as you can see in here, from first touch to full funnel, you can reach new leads, engage with customers and data so you can build on. And there are a lot of features that it offers in here for you to be able to um, optimize and use this Shopify onto its fullest potential. So for this one, if you don't have an account yet, you'll just need to simply go onto their website in here. You'll just need to search onto your local browser, shopify.com. So. We're going to go ahead and take a look onto its pricing also in here so that you'll have an idea. So we're actually just currently using the free plan as of the moment right now, but we have three plans that are offered in here. We have the basic. This is actually the most popular for individuals and small businesses at $25 per month. Shopify for small businesses at $65 per month. And the advance for medium to large businesses at $399 per month. So as you can see in here, you could go ahead and try it for free. You could see the different things that are included on onto the plan and you could enjoy these features on all of the above plans. So you have an online store already, a sales channel, a point of sale, and a 24-7 customer support. So these are the alternative solutions for your businesses, the starter, the retail, the um, commerce components, and the Shopify Plus. So you need to contact sales for that one or explore the plus so they could go ahead and see the different things that it offers. So let's gonna go ahead and try to click on to start free trial in here so that we could go ahead and sign up for Shopify for free. So for this one, you're going to actually see some set of questions that are needed to be asked so that they could go ahead and help you set up your business needs. So you could go ahead and click on to you're just starting, then click on to next. And then right after that one, you're just going to go ahead and try to um, answer this so that you'll get redirected onto the dashboard right after. Now, as you can see, since we've finished all of the setting up process, it is already creating our store. We'll just have to wait for this one. Now right after that, this is what the dashboard looks like. So as you can see in here, since we just started out our account or we set it up earlier, there is a set setup guide in here. So you could use this personalized guide to get your store up and running. So you could add in your first product in here, customize your online store, add a custom domain, and then name your store for that. So here onto the dashboard, you should be able to see your account settings in here, a notification, a search bar, the plans, the Shopify logo. So we're actually onto the home. We actually have the orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, discounts, the sales channel. We have the online store, point of sales, and the apps and the settings. And for us to be able to go ahead and try to um, head onto our themes, we're gonna head here onto the sales channel and click onto online stores. So here onto the theme section, you should be able to see in here the themes that um, you're using onto your account. So we have your Dawn. This is actually our current theme right now. And right after, once we have this installed, we could go ahead and try to click onto the three dots in here to do a preview, rename, duplicate this, download this theme file, edit this, and edit the default theme content. So 
Um, the next thing that we could do in here is to download the Scrollify JS library to add in an infinite scroll. So you're gonna go ahead and head onto this website by WebSense Pro. So this is how to add infinite scroll on Shopify. There is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and try to give the customers a better experience as they will be able to see all of the products without having to click their multiple pages. So the first step is to download Scrollify. We're gonna go ahead and click on the Scrollify from here to download this one. So as you can see, this is their website. We're gonna go ahead and click on the download in here so that we could go ahead and have this onto our device. So we're gonna go ahead and try to start the download for this one. Now, once it is downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and try to upload it onto the assets folder in the Shopify theme editor. So we're gonna go ahead and head back here on Shopify and then right after now what we're gonna do is we'll click onto the three dots in here and then right after we're gonna go ahead and click onto edit code so we're gonna pull up first the um file that we have downloaded earlier and here we need to scroll down and find this asset so we're gonna add a new asset in here and then what we'll need to upload in here is here onto your scrollify um downloaded file earlier we're gonna go ahead and try to search for x adjacinate so this one then we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it here to upload the file and then we're gonna click onto done to add this asset onto our code in here then right after the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a certain code onto this specific asset so we're gonna go ahead and try to search this one in here main collection product grid liquid so this one the main collection product liquid so this is actually this and then we're gonna go ahead and try to add this following code onto that so we're gonna head back here so we could just go ahead and try to click onto this one in here and then right after we could just uh, go ahead and try to add it here onto the upper part so we're just gonna go ahead and copy this and then we're gonna go ahead and paste it back here and then for the next step in here is we need to add the following code before schema in the main collection product grid liquid so we're gonna go ahead and try to search this one onto the code so that it would be easier for us so we're gonna go ahead and control f this and then this one and then we're gonna go ahead and try to see this so this is where we're gonna go ahead and try to add this code head back here so we're gonna paste it here before it's come up and then right after that the next step in here is changing code and pagination liquid file so we're gonna go ahead and try to search for this we're gonna click onto that search in here and then right after that one, we're going to go ahead and move this. So this is the file. And then as you can see here, we need to search for this one in here since the code should look like this. So we're going to go ahead and try to search for this one first. So we're going to control F it again so that it would be easier. And as you can see, this is the code that we have in here together with this one. So we're going to change this. And then we're going to go ahead and try to add this one in here, the class infinite.next. So just like this one in here. So let's just copy this one out first. And then we're going to paste it here right after li. And then it should look like that or the whole code should look like this already. So right after that is to add a code in facet gs file. So we're going to search this one and then we'll head back here so you should be able to see the file around here so you should be able to find this one around the assets so we're gonna go ahead and search for facets in here so this one and then right after for the instruction for that we need to search this one out since we need to add this below onto this specific code line of code so we're gonna go ahead control f again and then we're gonna go ahead and search for that so we're gonna go ahead and click onto next so this one so we're gonna go ahead and try to add this code copy this one out and then right after and then right after below this we're gonna go ahead and add in the code so just like that and for the last step that we have in here is adding this code in component pagination css file so this is the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and search out here so we're gonna go ahead and try to search it here and then once you see that one we're gonna go ahead and try to add this one so we're going to go ahead and copy that and then right after let's head back 
and then we're gonna scroll down here onto the bottom we're gonna add it in here and that's just basically it onto adding the infinite scroll so all you need to do right after is you could do a quick preview onto your store and once you have your products already set up then you should be able to see the scrolling effects in here so that your customer will have better experience and they will be able to see all of the products without having to click through multiple pages and if you think this has been helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and we'll see you onto our next video